Hey guys, Yardbrush here, and today it's time for Royal Rumble predictions. First predictions video of 2019. I forgot I disabled that. And our first entrant returning from injury is Jason Jordan. And now it's time for. Oh god. He booed. It's time to start with our predictions. I think she take over Phoenix. Uh huh. Cause that's I'm recording this um early because I'ma be busy Saturday. Don't get to record it. So a couple days from now. Two days from now. Today's Thursday where I am. Um, we got NXT Take Off Phoenix, which it'll be today when you're watching this. Matt Riddle versus Cassius Ono. Oh god. Oh, cool, Rhino. We're just gonna skip right to the match so you guys cannot watch entrance. Oh, Jason Jordan back better than ever. Anyways, Matt Riddle versus Cassius Ono. I'm not really a fan of Matt Riddle. I I don't know. It's just off. He seems like he just doesn't belong. They're trying too hard with him. I want Cassius to win, but judging by how the most recent matches have been going, I'm gonna pick Matt Riddle for this one and Heath Slater. Rhino and Heath. Let's see if they're gonna fight each other or if they're teaming up. Oh. Heath. Oh, well, Rhino. Oh my god. Rhino going immediately after Heath. Because it's every man for himself. Trying to commentate and do these predictions is rough. Anyways. Matt rolls my pick to win that one, even though I don't want him to. Um. Ricochet versus Johnny Gargano. For the NXT North American Championship. Oh, cool. Mustafa Ali. That's my favorite cruiserweight. Right there. Well, 205 Live cruiserweight. Because Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Anyways. Well, Ben Balor's also a cruiserweight, so I have to pick him because Ben's my favorite all around. Anyways. Ricochet vs. Johnny Gargano. This is a tough choice. I like both wrestlers. But it's not who I like. It's not who I want to win. It's who I think will win. And I think... Oh, cool, Jeff Hardy. I think this match is going to Ricochet. Don't know why it, it sounded weird when I said it. Probably doesn't sound that weird, and I'm just out of it. Anyways, even Ricochet, tough fighter. Also, how long has he held it? I don't. I don't remember when he got it. Oh, that's bad. I should know these things. Anyways, giving it to Ricochet. I don't think Johnny's taking it. Um, this time. Maybe. Maybe in another. Maybe another chance. Um, Undisputed Era vs. War Raiders for the NXT Tag Team Championship. I feel like Undisputed Era is going to win by some sort of interference by someone. Hey, Joe. Wait. No, it's, yeah, interference. Shayna Baszler vs. Bianca Belair for the NXT Women's Championship match. Does anyone think Bianca Belair is going to win this? Obviously gonna be Shayna. A lot more talented. Not saying that Bianca's not talented, but a lot more. Also, don't come at me for having someone not show up in this rumble. Okay, I have the people that are preset, and that's it. And that's my preset, I mean preset, 
days early that I got off the website that wasn't WWE because I couldn't find it. Then again, I also didn't look that hard because I was looking at the app and not the actual website and start to find stuff through that app. Anyways, Tommaso Ciampa versus Aleister Black for the NXT Championship. I want to say Aleister because Aleister is by far my favorite. But I'm going to give this to Tommaso. Because, yeah. He hasn't been champion for that long, you know. They like raw. They like lawn rings, not. Yeah. So, that is NXT TakeOver Phoenix. Already. Mike Kanellis. Look at that. Back at it again. Also, Braun. I don't know if I noticed that or not, but hey, Braun. Also, I'm so grateful at 2K for making it easier to choose um, where everyone's set instead of having that weird pattern thing. Because now you can actually pick. Because I just went in and I could put R-Truth as the number 30 spot. It was nice. I really appreciate that. It's making my job easier. Anyways, Braun's looking to eliminate Mustafa. Great. Um, Cruiserweight Championship, Buddy Murphy versus Kaliso versus Akira Chisawa versus Hideo Itami on the kickoff show, as always. Cruiserweights are never going to be on the main show. Um, here comes Baron. Um, I'm gonna give this to hmm I don't know oh wait Baron's looking to eliminate Jordan nine eight seven Six, five, four, three, two, one. And hey, it's the king of Royal Rumbles. Don't fight me on this one. You've seen all those amazing saves. Maybe this year is his year to win. I should have put Ty Dillinger in here at the number 10 spot. It's not like they've done that already two years. Why can't they do it a third? Third tries a charm. Anyways. Maybe. Maybe this time Kofi's gonna win with an amazing save. I'm gonna root for Kofi. It's not who I think is gonna win, but I'm gonna be rooting for him. Anyways. I'm gonna pick for the Cruiserweight Championship. I don't think Hideo's gonna win this one. I really like Akira Chisawa. Akisto. Buddy Murphy's cool. I'm a pick. Buddy Murphy's gonna retain this one. That's what I'm pick. So let's get this one a rolling. Next match. Another kickoff match. The United States Championship match. With the Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura. And obviously Rusev's gonna win and he's gonna retain on Rusev the I'm sorry. Aiden English is now on the 205 Live Harry team. That's it's weird. It it, it is gonna go to the next match. SmackDown Tag Team Championship match with The Bar versus The Miz and Shane McMahon. I think The Bar is gonna win. It's gonna be a close fight, but I don't think The Miz and Shane McMahon are gonna be able to kick this one off. I feel like they might fall apart and start a new rivalry. 
Actually, that, that could make a good rivalry. Hey, here comes Andrade. Cien Almas. Where is he? Where is Andrade? There he is. Hey, buddy. Oh my god, am I lagging right now? Seriously? Come on. It's not that big a match. I look, there are eight people in the ring. I see three or four. I see five people in the ring, two people outside, and a lot of crowd. We're fine. God. Anyways, SmackDown Women's Championship match. Asuka versus Becky Lynch. I don't think Asuka's going to hold this one for long. <laughs> Earlier, I literally said that they like long reigns. But... I feel like that the man, Becky Lynch, is going to take control of the women's division ahead of the SmackDown Women, or not SmackDown Women's, both Women's Tag Team Championship match. Don't know why I said SmackDown. Anyways, I feel like ahead of that, this, yeah, then Asuka is going to find tag team partner Raw Women's Championship Ronda Rousey versus Sasha Banks I don't think Sasha's gonna win this one because it's Ronda Rousey she's been getting a huge push she's definitely hey it's Tyler Breeze she's definitely gonna keep this one so yeah That my takes Ronda. Oh god, I'm getting closer and closer to the end of this already. I think this is the quickest I've ever done it. Let's see. It's already been 11 minutes. And we're already at like 14, so this is like a... 24-ish minute video. Not as long as I thought it was going to end up being. Sweet. Let's see who comes out next. I just put them all on random. I know who I pick, but... Ooh, Alistair Black. That is crazy. Right out of his match from TakeOver. He's coming to kick some people's faces off. You could have eliminated Braun. What did I just witness? WWE Championship match. The new Daniel Bryan versus the phenomenal AJ Styles. Um. I feel that Daniel Bryan's gonna... Oh, hey, Seth. How you doing? I feel like Daniel's gonna retain this one. Because it hasn't been that long. So. Ooh, -hoo. I'm ready for this one. Universal Championship match. Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. Finn Balor's proved time and time again that the little guy can always win because... Speed is always better than muscle. He's proved this. He's beat Baron. He's almost beat Braun. He would have won had Brock not interfered. But he still technically won. So technically. Technical. Yeah, technically technical. I'm smart. Also, I'm going to interrupt this um, broadcast presentation of my picks. If you don't follow me on Twitter, there, there's the Twitter handle. Um, follow me, please. Right there. At Yardbridge Gaming. Please. I've been foreshadowing some nice, you know... 
I've been foreshadowing some beautiful project to have in the works. It's going smoothly. Be ready for that in the next month or so. Also, I've unlocked all the smash lighters. Uh huh. Everyone's already probably done that, but hey, it's Johnny Gargano. Sweet. Hey, Johnny. How you doing? Yeah, follow me on Twitter. Universal Championship match, Brock Lesnar for Finn Balor. Brock's held this title for way too long. We have the longest reigning Universal Champion versus the shortest reigning. One of them's the best, and hint, it's not Brock. Brock is the worst champion in history. Anyways. So... This definitely goes to Ben Maller. He's proved time and time again. So he's gotta win this. Brock's held this for way too long. So, yeah. What better place to retain than at the Royal? Well, what? Not retain. Regain. What better place to regain the title than at. Royal Rumble. And then hold it till WrestleMania. Fight whoever wins the men's Royal Rumble. How did I just forget the name of the match? It's literally everywhere on the screen. <sighs> that was beautiful, thinking my brain. We have Okay, next, we're starting off with the Royal Rumbles now. 30 women Royal Rumble. Our confirmed entrants are Nikki Cross, Nia Jax, Lana, Dana Brooke, Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, Tamina, Naomi, Charlotte Flair, Selena Vega, Alicia Fox, Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose, Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan, Ruby Riot, Bailey, Sasha Banks, Natalia, Ember Moon. And at our number 30 spot, Carmella. I'm picking Nikki Cross. Brand new. Either that or Lacey Evans, they're right off the bat. Be a great way to get them up and to the championship early. So why not? Seth Rollins is out there. He's been out there. And I'm smart. Here comes Big E. As Kofi's eliminated. Great. Anyways, I'm picking some of the new talent that's coming in. From NXT, so then we can get them pushed up. For the men's Royal Rumble match, we have John Cena, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Samoa Joe, Drew McIntyre, Kofi Kingston, Big E, Xavier Woods, Paulo Cruz, Baron Corbin, Elias, Jinder Mahal, Bobby Lashley, Jeff Hardy, Andrade, Stan Almas, and our number 30 spot, R Truth. Ooh, man. Don't do stuff without breathing. Always breathe, kids. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing is important. And Biggie is out. Here comes Jinder Mahal. Actually, I just said his name. He's one of our confirmed entrants. So, I'm picking either Braun because he's definitely getting a different title shot. Probably against Finn. Or, uh, there was someone else that I picked. Oh yeah, Bobby Lashley, because he's being pushed right now. But I'm going to go with Braun so then he can get his Universal title shot back. And possibly ultimately lose, because they're not going to strip it from Finn that quickly. Because Finn's going to win. Hey, that rhymed. Finn's going to win. And I know what I'm chanting while I'm watching the Royal Rumble. Two. One. Here comes 19 Elias. So that concludes the prediction. So I guess here we go. Time to start commentating. I swear I'm better than last time. Trust me. I, I definitely gotten better. Here we go. I'm fidgeting with stuff right now. So if you hear weird sounds, I'm just fidgeting with stuff. I have a lot of energy right now and I don't know why. Anyways, 
this feels nice. I should just pre-record all my videos, because, man, I feel like I have so much more energy. Also, my software ink was pretty nice. That was a good video for being up early in the morning. So, maybe I just pre-record. I could have them out better and stuff. Oh, and here comes the- oh, man, listen to that pop. Here comes our next return, the one everyone's been raiding for, Bray Wyatt. Oh, we got Bray and Braun in the thing. Oh, but Bray goes immediately after Braun instead of reigniting the Wyatt family. Actually, comment down below. Who do you think? Bray, I just realized no one watches this. Anyways, comment down below. Who do you, what do you think Bray's next gimmick's gonna be that he's been foreshadowing forever and hasn't showed up yet? Oh, wait. Oh wait, Braun, oh man, Braun's not out of here, he was almost out by his own brother, Bray Wyatt. Oh, five seconds until our number, one, one, oh my god, I don't believe it. Guys, it is the animal himself, it is Batista. Hopefully looking to reignite that rivalry that was foreshadowed at SmackDown 1000 between him and Triple H. Batista's coming in full of muscle and adrenaline today, folks. Now that's how you win. Coming guns blazing and don't stop. Batista looking to get him out. Oh my god. Looking for it. Aleister Black's about to be eliminated. Oh my god, no. Batista bomb over the top rope. Oh, and Aleister Black is out of here. Oh, and Elias going after Batista. Not a bright move. Oh, but Braun saving Elias for some reason crazy seems like Bray and Braun have excused their differences and are now working together so oh Batista's out of Braun's grass oh and Elias is now fighting Braun oh and Braun with a swift elbow to Batista oh wait Bray going back after Braun Oh, could we see Braun get eliminated here? Oh no. Oh, and Braun's out of it. But he fell back on the ropes. In exhaustion. Let's see what's gonna happen next, folks. Oh wait. Elias looking to eliminate Batista. He's got him over. He just needs to push him off. Oh, but Batista's already out of there. And our number 22, Sami Zayn's back, folks. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. This Royal Rumble is just full of returns today. Who? This match is now in Zayn. I'm not sorry. I had to say it. Oh, here comes our number 23 already. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and here comes Drew McIntyre. That looks so weird, all caps, except the C. What was that? Wait, Elias. Oh, and a power bomb to Johnny Gargano. And here comes Batista looking to eliminate Sammy. Oh wait. Got Zayn up. Oh wait, Batista got Zayn over. He's just gotta push him off of the bottom. Zayn, holding on smartly. Oh, and he's out of it. Zayn has achieved being 
He achieved saving himself. Oh, here comes Rey Mysterio. Oh, but Zayn's out of here. The rain was almost at max capacity. And Batista went and just eliminated Zayn while Mysterio was headed down to the ring. Oh, and Mysterio heading right after Bray Wyatt. It was just last year at the other at the last Royal Rumble that Rey Mysterio made a sweet return along with the Hurricane himself. And then maybe, just maybe, we might see Hornswoggle return like he did at the Greatest Royal Rumble in the beautiful city of Jeddah. Oh, Bray's out of here. I just watched three eliminations and I only saw who was eliminated from Bray. From Ray. Ray eliminated Bray. Now Drew's looking to eliminate Ray. Oh, Elias is out of here. And who is that third person? Let's see who that third person was. There's their shadow. I don't remember who was in this match. Who's that standing right in front of the commentary table? Oh, here he goes. It was... Johnny Gargano. I forgot he was in this match. And here comes our next entrant into this Royal Rumble full of returns. Let's see, will it be another return? And it is not. Darn it, Apollo, you ruined it. Oh, wait. It's Ray looking for it. Oh, but Batista got in the way. And Braun taking control. Oh, Ray showing off for the crowd. Oh, and now, going after Braun. Maybe, oh, it looks like Ray is trying to prove me right about speed over Braun. Or something like that. Agility over Braun or something. Whatever I said. So, let's see here. Oh, wait. Oh, and Braun's taking out Ray swiftly. Oh, wait, Apollo Crews just eliminated Batista. Oh, man. Never thought he would do it. It's crazy. Who's next? Oh, it's Bobby Lashley. Oh, uh, Leo Rush is so annoying. Just gonna say that now. Now, 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 now. Just gonna say that now. Oh, Apollo. Nope, that was Lashley. Man, I am blind. All I saw was the red and everywhere, and they're both wearing pretty much the same. Why are... I thought it was Apollo. Lashley just eliminated Strowman. Oh, McIntyre picking up Lashley for a headbutt. Oh, what? Apollo powerbombed Ray. Oh. Here comes the phenomenal AJ Styles. Looking to take control and get another shot at that WWE Championship. Oh, and AJ going after Drew. Oh, but Lashley going right after Styles after showing off for the crowd. Oh, Lashley's already looking to eliminate Styles. I don't think it's going to work as Styles just entered this match. He's full of momentum. Oh, and here comes that next sweet, sweet entry. Let's see, any returns? Number 28 in Nick Zig Xavier Woods. Who, as we approach our self esteem, number 30 spot with our truth. We have one more spot for any more returns. So let's see what'll happen, shall we? Oh! Oh, Xavier's already out of here by Drew! Oh my god! I don't believe it. That was the quickest. No, it wasn't. 
quickest I've ever seen it in the game. And Lashley looking to eliminate McIntyre. Bruce is going after Mysterio. Any more returns? Let's see. And it's Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is back. Too bad Sane's been eliminated. We could have seen a beautiful reunion in this match. And, oh, Owens going immediately for Mysterio. But here comes Styles. Oh, walking straight through while Owens makes a path. Oh, Apollo is being picked up. And are we going to see another elimination? Oh, Styles. Styles has been grabbed. And it looks like Apollo is about to eliminate him. Looking to eliminate. Oh, and here comes our number 30 spot, R Truth. Oh, Ray's joining in against Styles. Could we see Styles break out of both of these men? Or is Styles about to be eliminated? Here comes our truth This time he's not grabbing a ladder. Oh, and misses that drop kick completely. Oh, Styles accidentally throwing Apollo into Owens and Lashley. Ray's taunting all in for the crowd. We got seven men in the ring right now, people. Come seven. And our troops saving Drew McIntyre while Apollo is taking Styles out swiftly. And Owens is looking to eliminate Lashley. Oh, it looks like he might actually do it. Owens might eliminate Lashley here, folks. Oh, our truth looking to eliminate McIntyre. Truth looking to eliminate McIntyre. Let's see how this goes. And Cruz with a drop kick to Styles. McIntyre's out of here. Oh. And Owens is still fighting against Lashley. And Ray is just chilling up under the bottom rope there. Easy pickings. But he's just getting his energy back, which is a smart choice in this match. You're going to need to save your energy for the end. Oh, and we just watched another elimination of Apollo Crews. And Truth is looking to eliminate McIntyre. Raise up, but is immediately attacked by Styles. Now, Ray turning it around. Oh, and Styles is turning it around. And Styles looking to eliminate Ray. Oh, Styles has already got him up on the top. Oh, Ray might be eliminated here, folks. Oh. Ray's looking like he might get out here. We could see this rumble without 1619. But I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, and I was right. Ray is not going to let that happen. He's not letting himself be eliminated that easily. Oh, and Styles with a backhand, and Ray is out of here. But Truth, looking to get McIntyre over that top rope. Oh, but letting go. Not the best move in this match. Oh, he's just looking to weaken him. I think Truth realized, but McIntyre's turned it around. Oh, wait, clothesline, and Truth is out of here. We are down to our last four contestants. Oh wait, Styles looking for Styles Clash. Oh, Owens is hurt. Oh wait, McIntyre with another close line to Lashley. We're down to our final three. Owens, McIntyre, and Styles. All three men squaring off in this heated match to see who will be on the live stage at WrestleMania. Oh wait, 
while Owens goes after McIntyre. Styles is showing off for the crowd. And, oh, McIntyre looking to eliminate Owens, while Styles is still just in that corner taunting. Oh, Owens is down to a knee, getting away from that rope, which is a smart move in this match. Oh, it seems like all three men are in this fight now. Oh, McIntyre. Oh! Right on Kevin Owens' noggin. And Styles picking up McIntyre. Styles is looking to eliminate McIntyre. Can he get him over the top? Oh, and Drew slips out of it. Oh, and right to the head of Siles. And Owens. Oh. Owens is throwing Siles against the ropes. Or a pop-up powerbomb. Oh, and Owens. Owens is back in this fight. Hitting that pow pop-up powerbomb. Now going after McIntyre. Can he get McIntyre out quick enough? So that he can get the layup on Styles and win this. Oh, but Styles is starting to stir. Styles using the ropes to get up. Oh, and he's taunting for the crowd. He's getting the crowd's approval. The crowd is going wild at Styles' resiliency throughout this match. Oh, Styles and McIntyre looking to eliminate Owens. Seems like Owens got on their bad side too quickly. We could see him get out of this. Oh. Owens taking out Styles. Oh, and there goes McIntyre. We are still down to our final three. Oh, wait. Styles picking up Owens. Oh. Oh, but McIntyre running after Styles. That teamwork wasn't bound to last for long. Here we go. Oh, McIntyre looking to eliminate Styles. Oh, throwing out some beautiful punches to Styles. Oh, but Styles reversed it for his own. Here we go. And Styles looking to eliminate McIntyre. He's got him up on the top. Could we see an elimination here tonight? Well, we've already seen. 27 of them so of course we can and we're always bound to have two more let's see here oh McIntyre with a headbutt to Styles oh following that up with a punch weakening Styles you weaken their head then you weaken their entire body Just can't use their brain straight and Owens taking down McIntyre Oh, right to the leg. Also take out their legs. They can't fight out of it much. Just fight everywhere. Fight every part of their body. Because if you weaken anything, then they're weak. Right for the picking. I have no idea what I'm saying. Oh, Owens is in the corner. McIntyre could be looking to eliminate Owens with another clothesline. McIntyre's on a rampage here, folks, and we're down to our last two competitors, Styles versus McIntyre. Who is going to that great stage at WrestleMania? This animation needs some work. It's weird. I don't like how they're both in the exact same position staring at each other's butts. It, it's weird. Anyways, oh, McIntyre, oh, right on the head of Styles. Oh, and here we go. McIntyre's weakening that head still, making sure Styles can't think straight, so then he can't fight out of what's about to come. Oh, what a slap to Styles. Oh, throwing him to the ropes. Oh, but Styles dodged it. Oh, McIntyre. Lift punch to Styles. Styles is down on one knee. 
Oh, but Sal's fighting out of this. Oh, looking to eliminate McIntyre. Could Styles be the one to get his rematch at WrestleMania against Daniel Bryan? Oh, wait. McIntyre's on the bottom. Could Styles get him out? Could Styles eliminate McIntyre here? Could we see it? Oh, and McIntyre's out of it. McIntyre lives to see another day. And... Styles working on that arm, but McIntyre fighting out of this again. Oh, looking for a headbutt, but Styles, Styles releasing a great frenzy that McIntyre is soon reversed. Oh, looking for another headbutt, but Styles countered it. Oh, right onto the head of McIntyre. He won't have any more headbutts after that. Hurt himself more. Now Styles looking for the elimination. He's got McIntyre on the ropes. Oh my god. Styles looking for a power bomb out of the ring. And McIntyre's out of here. Here is your winner. And going to ch challenge a, whatever champion of his choosing at WrestleMania. The phenomenal AJ Styles. Man, that was a good one. I really hope you guys like my commentary. That was like 40 to 50 minutes there. If you like this video and you want to see more, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Let's not end it on a replay. Come on. Show us that sweet, sweet victory right there. Yeah, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. If you liked this video and want to see more, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> mm. Bye, guys.